For 12 years, John Smeaton has been an airport baggage handler. But in one split second, he became a national hero when he tackled a terror suspect to the ground. I see the guy get out of the car, the car's on flames, and it, the guy gets out and goes straight for the police, and I'm like, ah, no chance, you know, no chance, this hasn't happened. And just like, right, go for it. You know, it was the only thing I thought, go for it, go and get this guy. Go all the way across, and as you turn around, you see a guy in flames lying in the ground, and then he tries to get up, and people are hosing him down it. So, it's just, you just don't expect to see that in a day at work, especially at Glasgow Airport, you know? What was going through your head at that particular moment? Look, you're at work, and you feel it's your work, it's your duty to go in and make sure stuff like this doesn't happen, you know? And it was just, you just had to get in and go for it. There was no, I'm going that way, it's going, I'm going to help him, do you know what I mean? That's, we're under attack here. You've just got to get in and do it, you know what I mean? That's just, it's your civic duty, you've just got to go in and do it. We now know that car was packed with nails and explosives. Uh -huh. How do you feel about that in retrospect? In retrospect, it, you do think, you go, you think of the what could have been, but it's your luck, and luckily my luck was in yesterday. I mean, it could have gone totally another way and I wouldn't be here standing talking to you. You know, it's just, it's just one of those things. Now John, the toast of his colleagues, has a message for any would-be terrorists. They can try and come to Britain and they'll try and disrupt us any way they want, but the British people have been under a lot more things than this and we always stand proud. And then if you come to Glasgow, Glasgow doesn't accept us, do you know what I mean? This is Glasgow, you know, so yeah, we'll set about you, you know, that's it. John Gilbert, ITV News, Glasgow.